What's up, YouTube? You got your guy, VP Blocker, Larry here. We got a video today. Today's February 6th. It's about 5.25 in the morning. I'm getting ready to head to work. And this video is about all the trolls in the comment sections in my Bitcoin videos. Please watch this video all the way through because we're going to get that... We gonna get at them today. Now, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This video goes out to uh, two certain trolls who were in my comment section all night, watching my videos, commenting, going nuts and berserk. And this is a response to some of my trolls. Now, I'm not gonna do this often, but I have to get at these two. Uh, th this goes out to uh, King MK, I think that's his name, and JB. Now, they didn't like my Bitcoin videos when I'm talking about it's not worth anything. But here's the facts and the truth that they don't want to hear and a lot of people don't want to hear. Other than the media pumping it up and social media talking about certain people who've gotten wealthy, I don't physically know anyone who's gotten wealthy off of Bitcoin where they literally stop coming to work and... They're flossing with Lambos. I don't know anybody like that. I know a couple people that buy a portion of Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know, they that they don't have sixty-five or forty thousand dollars to throw on an invisible currency. Um, the people, from my understanding, who's made money in Bitcoin were the earlier investors. Um, even if you bought Bitcoin at 25,000 and you sold at the peak at 69,000, you're not wealthy. You made a come up, but you can't retire off that. And that's what people are thinking that it went to 69,000 and one day it'll be at 500,000. Now, I'm going to get into the logistics of some of their comments. Some of their comments were, I don't know about DeFi, centralization, and blockchain, and in the future of it being used around the world and uh, El Salvador, it's their trading currency of the currency of their country. And, okay, this is what makes America great. This is what makes America a great country. It's because they allow you to invest in bullshit, knowing it's bullshit, at your own risk. They allow you to do that. China banned that shit because China's not playing that. They're like, listen, this is crap. This is bullshit. Our people aren't going to fall for the stupid rug pull. China banned it. But the United States is a great country because they give people the ability to invest in stuff that's not worth anything. And they only have themselves to blame. And then they run to the government because they lost everything. And then the government's got to bail them out. That's one of the things that makes America great and bad is because of the freedom to just throw your money into shit that's not worth it. Now, here's the thing. I'm up early. I'm headed to work. That is what gets you comfortable in life and gets you wealthy. Not investing in a shit token or a shit coin. It's hard work day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. That's investing where you put your money into something and it grows over time. They're telling me in 10 years it's going to be worth this. In 10 years, you don't know what the hell it's going to be worth. And then they try to debate me, which, you know, I was bored last night. It's cold out here on the East Coast. I don't, I don't normally get into it with trolls and haters in the comments section. But you don't know what it's going to be worth. It's speculating. And then they say, oh, stock market is the same thing. No, investing in good stocks that make good products and good companies will be around for a long time. If the stock market crashes 80%, people will still need toilet paper, which we know they went out and bought. They will still drink coffee. They will still brush their teeth. They will still need um, uh, catch up on their stuff. That they will still need cleaning products. They will still need oil companies. They will still need um, um, health care. They will still need to bank. They will still need to do those things. 
what is the use of Bitcoin? And when you ask these people, what's the use of Bitcoin? They can never tell you what they used it for. I asked a simple question last night. Name three things you use Bitcoin for. You know what the response from JB was? Bitcoins has more transactions than Visa. Yeah, you're right. It does have more transactions. Bitcoin, they trade it for Ethereum. And then they trade it back to Bitcoin. And then they buy Shiba Inu with Bitcoin. And then they buy um, uh, uh, the Dogecoin. You're trying to tell me that more purchases are made? Yes, buying different currencies and, to and altcoins and tokens. Visa... You can buy actual things, stuff, you know, everyday items that we use. This Citizen Echo Drive watch was used, not with Bitcoin. I bought this bracelet from a street vendor in Greece. I bought this hat from a store. I forgot what store. I, th I think it was Advanced Auto with not Bitcoin. Do you know what was used? Ooh, that good old green, baby. That. When I went to the bank to get euros, I traded in American dollars for euros. They didn't convert my Bitcoin into euros when I went to the bank. Okay? You can use a debit card. Boom, debit card. You can use a credit card. Boom. And then they talk about El Salvador. A lot of these trolls haven't even left their mom's basements. And they're talking about El Salvador. They can't point to El Salvador on a map. If you put it in front of them on a globe, they can't point to it. But they're talking about El Salvador. If you live in the United States or you live in... Uh, in the in the east, in the far east, and Japan, China, Russia, all that stuff, you should not be worrying about what other countries are doing. Why are you worried about El Salvador? Do you know El Salvador is pretty much still a third world country? They don't have running water. They don't have the electricity the grids that other big cities have. They got bad gang and poverty out there. Do you understand that? Do you hear me talking to you? Worry about El Salvador. You keep waiting 10 years. Bitcoin ain't going up to 500,000. Why would it? Are you not understanding all the free money that was pumped into the world? That's why Bitcoin went up. That black swan event that happened with the virus and all the free money that governments gave out. A lot of people didn't need that money. So they went out and they bought expensive houses, cars, uh, Gucci belts. They were eating out every day. And guess what else they bought? Stupid cryptos. These people are mad that they bought at the height and now they're praying it goes back up. Where is all that money going to come from? A lot of people don't understand market caps where they thought Shiba Inu would go to a dollar. Any smart person could look and say, it would take pretty much all the money in the world and everyone to invest in Shiba Inu for it to go past a dollar. They don't understand market caps. What they do is go on Reddit Wall Street bets. They go on these little forums in their basements and they're, okay, okay, oh, oh, okay, how can I get rich? How can I get rich? No, you get rich with hard work. So to, so to all my trolls out there, this video's for you. You can hate on me, call me stupid, call me an old boomer, call me... I'm 41 years old. I was born in 1981. Technically, I'm at the beginning of Gen X. All right. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm the. I'm think I'm at the beginning of Gen X. Now, I'm not 60 years old. So that that just shows you their intelligence. And yes, people are trying to reinvent the wheel. There are a couple people who got wealthy off of crypto. And guess what? What did they all do? They sold out into the money that's supposed to be collapsing and what Bitcoin was supposed to protect them against. They went out, they traded, and they became millionaires. So people need to be honest with themselves. Listen to the one comment. 
all that DeFi and all that stuff ain't worth nothing. In his one comment, he said, it's going to be worth $500,000. It's going to be worth $500,000. Okay, it's going to be worth $500,000. You think so? Okay. In 10 years, I'll be retired, my man. I'll be relaxing. You keep waiting on that get rich. Okay. So this goes out to all you trolls and haters in the comment section. It still ain't worth anything. What did you do with it? What did you buy with it? Okay. When, you, when you've gone out to eat, I doubt you guys have dates. When you take your date out, do you pay the bill with Bitcoin? No. You pay with cash, credit, a debit card, or whatever you got in your pocket. So um, if you forget your phone screwed even if they do accept bitcoin so to all my trolls this video is for you i'm about to go to work okay get out of your mama and your grandmother's basement eating those gino's pizza rolls and hard work hard work helped build this country hard work helped build those other countries not investing in stupid tokens that mean nothing have a good day